So we're back here with some more Reds franchise here in season number two, lost opening day. Um, and we're going to go through uh, this season, obviously, as quick as we possibly can and really get this franchise going in season number three, where hopefully we have a nice uh, group of young guys, um, some superstars to look up to going forward to the future. So we'll pretty much go through, I would say, uh, the first month here, uh, see how this team does. We'll still play maybe a game a month, and obviously in September there's a good possibility we play a few more games there if we have some September call-ups. But right now that's what we're looking forward to, so we're going to sim through the days. And then we started to run in some injuries here. So Yuani Suarez out for one to two months there with a fractured hand. So that has to be dealt with. And taking a look at what we have depth-wise, Jonathan India, um, he's a good prospect, but I don't think he's ready to play yet. I think he's maybe, you know, he might be one of those September call-ups. Uh, so we have Rob uh, Ref Snyder here. He's on the 40-man roster. I mean, he's 29 years old. Don't really expect a whole lot for him, but we need somebody up in the majors. So we'll have to bring him up. And then as we continue on, Hunter Green, one of our top prospects, fractured hand as well after one, another one to two months. And then we just keep getting the injuries. Brandon Lowe, depth there for the uh, Reds Major League, you know, our Major League roster. He's out two to three months with a torn calf, so he's done for a while. And then as we go through the big one, Victor, Victor Mesa. He's out for six months the whole season toward Labrum. That is devastating for sure. We were hoping to build him up. And, uh, yeah, a lot of injuries there in that first month. That is for sure. And not only, um, you know, there were major injuries as well. Not just, you know, out for like a week or something. Major injuries, as you can see right now, sitting at 18 and 15. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Only four games out of first place. Uh, you see the Pirates and Cardinals technically tied there at the moment. But, yeah, not too bad. Hey, it could be worse. Uh, you know, we're over 500 at the moment. We're actually only a game and a half out of the wild card. So that is kind of crazy to think about. Let's take a look what uh, guys have done here in this first month. So it looks like Tucker Barnhart has led us with home runs. Peraza with six. Uh, there's Trammell actually with four. Winkler with two, and then Senzel only with two as well. Peraza leading us right now with 21 RBI. Winkler down there. Steals as Peraza. He's just really the big-time player on this team so far. Winkler, though, hitting 384. Peraza doing 378. Senzel disappointing so far. But, you know, you're going to go through a rough prep, rough patch for sure with his first season only hitting 239. J.P. Crawford, uh, 180, not good. Going to have to keep him on the roster, though. I forget what date you have to keep him on the roster to make sure uh, you, he doesn't go back to the Phillies. Pitching-wise, Charlie Morton leading us with wins with four. We have a couple of guys there with three. Amir Garrett's looking fantastic with nine saves. Hasn't allowed a run yet, so that looks good. Sonny Gray, on the other hand, almost an ERA about nine. He was on the fence as is, so I might have to make a change there. I don't think I'm going to keep him around. He was hit or miss just to see what you got from him. Look at Dallas Keuchel doing it. Uh, so that's looking like a pretty good free agent pickup as he is uh, performing well. So we might have to make a change there. So I think Sonny Gray, at the moment, sent him to the bullpen. We'll bring in Keuchel to a start. But we might just send Sonny Gray down. Uh, the rest of the guys are doing pretty well. The rotation is doing pretty well. The bullpen is actually the struggling part, which is, uh, you know, I thought would be, you know, decent. But the uh, rotation is performing well. So we're going to send Sonny Gray down to AAA. There's just no reason to keep him around as of right now. Um, was thinking about straight out releasing him, but decided not to. So we need some more depth, obviously, um, in the uh, Major League roster. So Aquino will bring up just to get some outfield depth um, with the uh, injuries there we have. And then I think Sherman Johnson or Christian Cologne we might bring up as well. We still uh, have one more spot on the roster. We need some bench guys. We only had two guys on the bench. So I think we'll add him to the 40-man roster. We'll bring him up just to add depth. Um, you need those bench guys definitely in the National League. That is for sure. In the AL, you could definitely get get around with it. You know, maybe having two to three bench guys and keeping more guys in the bullpen. So, um, not in the NL. Definitely need those guys for sure. So, we have um, we're up to May first here, and I think we'll get into a game. We're going to take on the Washington Nationals, and you can see the batting average leaders are Winkler and Peraza. So that is good to see Paxton and Corbin. We will not see in this game. We're going to see Max Scherzer, but we got Dallas Keuchel on the mound uh, making his first start of the season, all of his appearances so far, out of the bullpen. He has performed well. We're giving him the start. Um, you know, former you know, big-time pitcher. Let's see what he can do. So he'll face off against Trey Turner here. First off, 
against this Nationals team, which is actually uh, not too bad here so far in this season. So first pitch to Turner. He's going to rip this one down the left field. That is going to get down. Fair ball off the wall. Turner on his way to second. And just like that, the Nationals have a good start. So, so far, all the games have uh, played definitely. Uh, first inning is not good, and it doesn't start off well there on the first pitch. He just rips a double. So you can take a look at the lineup here, Turner. Nunez, Juan Soto, obviously um, the main target, obviously, with Bryce Harper gone now. So uh, the young... Uh, Youngster is really going to, you know, have to step up here. And here he is, and he rips one down the line. Base hit. That's going to score Turner easily. So just like that, the Nationals on the board. one nothing here in the first as Juan Soto comes through with the RBI single. So here comes Jedji Urko. First pitch to him. He's going to rip this one. This should be two. Six, four, three. Double play. So at least Keuchel gets out of that jam there. Just one run allowed. And we'll head to the bottom of the first. So here's Max Scherzer. Two and three. ERA not too bad. Whip very high, so struggling a little bit here this season. I'm bringing on Jesse Winkler, top uh, batting average so far in the National League just a month through. So here is the first pitch to Winkler, and he rips this one, and that's going to get through for a base hit. So uh, Nunez can't come up with it. They'll call it a base hit for sure. So here's Tyler Naquin trying to continue this first. 1-0 count to him. He's going to swing through the slider there. Nice pitch there from Scherzer. And now he's going to actually miss with the slider there a little bit too much inside. And that is going to hit Naquin and set up a first and second here with two down to bring on Tucker Barnhart, who leads our team in home runs. We'd like to see one right here. So first pitch to Barnhart, and he's just going to pop that one up. That's really not going to go anywhere. That is going to be Cordero underneath of it, and that will be out number three. So can't really get anything there in the first as now we head into the second. As Keiko finds himself in a little bit of a jam here. And this will bring up Michael Taylor with uh, one down, two on. One, two count here to Taylor. Pitch inside, and that's going to be caught for a uh, little pop-up there. Will not turn two, but still out number two. And that's going to bring up Max Scherzer. You think these pitchers, uh, you know, these spots sometimes just get this sneaky base hit. But that's going to be a ground ball. Enough time there with Scherzer's speed to pick up the ball and get the out. And get out of the jam there in the second, and nothing for the Nationals. So we'll head on to the third. Michael's uh, starting to settle down a little bit, as you can see there. Gets Juan Soto on the cutter, swing and a miss. One, two, three in the third. And now we got to get this offense going for sure. So as Peraza's up, obviously uh, second in the league, batting after Winkler with Vado on deck. So three, two count here to Peraza with one down in the third. Pitch from Scherzer, and that's going to be ground ball. And that's going to be out number two. So let's see if Vado can get something going here offensively. Still having a good season. 311, three home runs, 16 RBI uh, for the veteran. Uh, 36 years old now. As Vado is going to ground this ball, that is not going to go anywhere. Dozier up with it. And that is out number three. So the offense struggling here so far for the th first three innings. As Scherzer pitching well. As obviously he is a... You know, he can do be dominant in time, and you can see not only pitching well, but helping himself out. Is he going to rip that one into the gap with his speed? He's not going to be able to get to second, but still, base hit for Scherzer. Going to turn the lineup around, and here comes Trey Turner, who ripped that double in the first. So Turner's going to hit this one, and that is going to be just an easy ground ball out. So no damage done once again in the fifth as Keuchel gets out of another jam. So we head to the bottom of the fifth. I think we only have the one really base hit here so far, so nothing really working out. As here comes Taylor Trammell, and he's going to rip this one, and that is an absolute rocket to center field. I thought that was just going to be maybe a, a regular fly ball out, but he hit it so hard, it actually got over the center field's head, as that's going to be his 10th double of the year, second on the team. Man, that was a rip. Wow. So here's Rob Ref Schneider gave him the start today after bringing him up, so... First pitch to Ref Schneider, and he's going to rip that one in the gap, and that's going to get over the right field's head. Let's see if that'll score Trammell. It should. He is on his way home. He will score. We've tied this game up in the fifth, and look at the bottom of the order coming through big here. The fifth inning, tie this ball game up. Nice job by Ref Schneider. Definitely going to get more playing time if you can do that. So here's Dallas Keigel looking for the sack bunt to put him over to third base, and that is a perfect bunt there by Keigel. Works out perfectly. So we have a man on third, one down. Sack fly can still do it. And here comes Peraza. So let's see what he can do. First pitch to him. He's going to rip this. going to be a ground ball. That will be fielded, and they will get the out. But the run will score. We will take it 
take the lead here in the fifth, two to one. And uh, that'll bring up now Joey Votto. See if he can continue this fifth inning here, get a uh, two out rally. So two out here, two out of uh, Votto. He'll take the pitch down the middle to make this a two one count here. And really, it's about time our offense finally gets something going, man, finally. So the 2-1 pitch here to Votto. He rips that one. That one is in the gap. That is back, and it is gone. Unbelievable. Just like Taylor Trammell's hit, that was just a laser, and that is out of here. So Votto with the homer, his fourth of the year, and we'll take the 3-1 to one lead, and this fifth inning has been excellent. So can Jesse Winkler continue this here? 1-0 -oh count to Winkler, and this is just going to be a little dribbler back to the mound. But still, good fifth inning, getting up three runs, taking the lead. And let's see if uh, Keuchel can shut down this Nationals team the rest of the way. So we head to the top of the 6-2 out, 0-2 oh, count, and that will be strike three there to Brian Dozier. Keuchel gets out of the sixth, no problem. So let's head to the bottom of the six. We get Nick Senzel up, 1-2 count to him. Two out here in this inning. It's going to foul away that changeup. Just staying alive here to uh, foul off those tough pitches here. And Scherzer definitely has some nasty stuff for sure. As now the 1-2 uh, count here. And he's going to rip this one. That one's deep as well. That one's hit very well way back. And that one is gone. So the power coming through in this ball game. As Nick Senzel adds another home run. And that will make it a 4-1 to one ball game. That one was absolutely crushed into right field. Great job by Senzel, and hopefully we see a lot more of that in the future. That was uh, fantastic for sure. And Taylor Trammell now up. Can he make it back-to-back? -back? This one's crushed to left field. Way back, and it is going to be caught at the wall. So just not enough, but still we will take the home run by Senzel and make this a 4-1 to -one game. As now Keuchel continuing to deal, and he gets Michael Taylor looking there on the uh, pitch inside for strike three, third out of the inning, and now we'll go to the bottom of the seventh, looking to add more runs here. So here's Joey Votto with two on, one out, 1-0 one -oh count here to Votto. Down the middle, and he rips that one, and that's going to be a fair ball. Was not sure if that was fair or not. That is a fair ball. Run will score we'll have first and third here with one down. And we'll have to take a look at this replay here because that was absolutely close. Did that bounce over the bag? So down the line, and it just bounces right over the bag for a fair ball. Wow. So Votto having an excellent game here. So that will bring up Winkler. Uh, Sack Fly can still do it, but he's going to ground this to short, and that is going to be an easy double play. So we won't get that extra run there, but still 5-1 to score here. With Keigel dealing, that might be enough. As we did add one more in the eight to make it six to one, and now we're in the bot in the top of the ninth with Keuchel still in the mound. One two count, two down, and he gets him swinging there, and that is the ball game. So fantastic game here against this Nationals team. Six to one the score, and Dallas Keuchel coming out of the bullpen just to you know just happen to pick him up at free agency. Just like, what the heck, give him a shot. And he is performing well here in the first month of the season and now he's even moved into the rotation. And if he could continue to pitch like this, he can really become either a big time trade ticket or if this team just continues to perform well, who knows, we could be a surprise in the National League. As you see, the power came through, three doubles, two homers, Keiko with a complete game, eight hit, one run in the first, that was it, nine Ks. Excellent game by Dallas Keuchel, and that's what you want to see everybody coming through. And hopefully this could continue. Who knows? This might be a surprise team in this season. Maybe we'll play more games than we thought. But that was a definitely a good game to get going. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.